Now, before we dive into the shoes I restore that I intentionally destroyed for your entertainment, I wanna give Skillshare a big thank you for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers memberships with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. So if you're uncertain about what's next, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. So with that in mind, I took the class Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space, taught by Christopher Griffin. With his tips and tricks on how to choose your plant has really uplifted my, my workspace and my home in general. So whether you're trying to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is a place to keep you learning. All right guys, so the first 1,000 people to click in the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare's premium membership. And after that, it's only about $10 a month. So click on the link down below to visit Skillshare today. You can learn a new skill, enhance your creativity, but most importantly, you'll be supporting my channel. Hey, what's up you guys, it's John Manalo. And here we have a pair of 2001 True Blue Threes that I've dirtied up myself just so we have a crazier before and after. But they did come with a broken back tab and missing midsoles, so we're gonna have to fix both of those. So the reason why the midsoles look like this is because of how old they are. So once midsoles start to disintegrate, they start to come apart like this. So I'm gonna use Rejuvenator to remove the dirt on the surface. And I'll be using the medium bristle brush on the upper since it is mostly made of leather. Now that the uppers have been fully deep cleaned, we're gonna remove all of that crumbled midsole by separating the rubber sole so we can get in those deep crevices and clean them thoroughly. So what's gonna help me accelerate this process is I'll be using a heat gun to just melt the adhesive, the old glue that's on the shoes, and that'll also melt down the old polyurethane foam. And I'm just gonna be using cotton balls and acetone to clean up the rubber sole and also the uppers. Not only am I going to restore these shoes, but I'm gonna put a little bit of a twist on them. So instead of just restoring them, I wanna make them close to the 1988 pair as close as possible so that means I'm going ha going to have to put red liner on the tongue lower the elephant print and just give it a little bit more of an age look but not too much because I do want to let people know that these are restored so that means I won't be replacing the back tab with the jump man but I'll be putting a Nike air tab instead and I'm also gonna be thinning out the ankle collar So this is going to be my first time messing with the liner by replacing it. So right now I'm just learning as I go. So basically everything that I'm doing now that I haven't done in my previous videos is something that I'm learning as I'm doing. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error. These soles look incredibly clean. I didn't do any sole sauce. I didn't whiten them at all. All I did was just clean them with the wire brush and, and some soap. Speaking of soap, do you guys remember a day when you would Uber to your restaurant with your boys, get stupid drunk, get hella good food, tip the waiter, waitress 30, 40%, and then Uber back home and just kick back and just 
they have no care in the world because there was no pandemic. But I do have to say COVID did help me find another hustle. So I've been dabbling at the stocks and investments just because with, with COVID going on, YouTube hasn't been paying YouTubers as much as, as they did before because no one's really going out to eat, going out to the movies, going out to shopping. So their advertisers aren't really paying as much for those anymore. All right, guys, enough of my first world problems. So we're going to be using cotton balls and acetone to remove any remaining glue that's on the midsole, just so our glue that we'll apply will be more effective. So I was talking to David Blaine and he was telling me things about how to take things apart. I can't tell you exactly how I do it, but I'll just show you on the video. Since the midsoles are from 2016 and the rubber soles are from 2001, a lot has happened in between those years. Jordan Brand has made a lot of adjustments with their with their shoes. So they've adjusted how they made their midsoles. That's why it's not fitting flush. They changed their dimensions and their alignment. So we're gonna need to use a Dremel tool to counter that to make it fit. In this bottle, I have Bart Cement Super Stick. It's a pretty strong glue in the American market. There are probably stronger glues out there, but I just don't know what they are yet. So if I find anything stronger, I'll let you guys know. And I'm just gonna use Bart Cement Super Stick to apply a thin coat on the rubber sole and a thin coat on the midsole. After that, I'm gonna let it cure for about a few hours, uh, let's say two hours to put a number out there. After two hours, is up I'm going to use a blow dryer to heat up the adhesive to reactivate it and then bond them together this has this to me has proven to be the strongest method in bonding the midsole to the rubber sole As you can see here, I've gained the COVID-19 pounds of extra weight on my face and on my belly. So time to get back on the grind, pick up some iron, pump them, diet properly. I've been snacking on a lot of Hot Pockets, a lot of cereal, a lot of not so good things for my body just cause I become stagnant <laughs> so time for a change baby as long as you recognize what you got to change that's the first step watch in the, in the next 10 15 videos i'm gonna look so good i'm not even gonna be known as john anymore you can call me juan oh and by the way i'm taping up the shoes for a repaint so on the 1988 jordan 3s the tongue was incredibly flat there was barely any padding so I'm gonna remove all of the padding off of the tongue and I'm gonna re remove the blue liner and I'm gonna use this red suede leather that I have. It's, it's a lot more richer in color, which I like the most. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna trace the leather with the tongue on top just so I can get an exact fitment on the tongue and after that I'm going to remove the stitching that holds the foam in place so then I could replace the very thick foam with a thinner dense foam that's more comfortable for the shoes I got this foam off of Amazon I think I just typed in quarter inch foam like durable thick foam and this is what popped up After it's cut, I'm going to use a sprayable adhesive that's pretty strong. You can get this at Home Depot. And I saw Who Fresh use this when I was over at his house while we were doing the reconstruction on the 94 Jordan 1s. To stitch back the back tab, I'm gonna have to remove the elephant print on the heel so then I could fully insert it and then stitch it back in place. 
I want to lock it down first, so I'm going to apply adhesive on the heel and on the leather so it doesn't move when I stitch it back. So these tabs are really old. I shouldn't have used these. I ended up using a spare tab from an authentic Jordan 3 from 2016. I just had to dye them to match the age of the custom I want to do because they were, they were originally pure white. So as I was stitching these tabs, it ripped on me just because the material that was used to make these was not that strong. So you could see that it ripped on me while I was using it on the sewing machine. So these are really good if you just were to glue them on and simulate the stitching. But if you were to use them on a machine, it might rip on you like it did for me. This was my first time dyeing a pair of tabs to make them look aged. So the very dark, dank looking one was the very first tab I experimented on. And I just adjusted the ratio of the of the dye and it came out a whole lot better. So from coke white tabs to a simulated aged tabs with the dye, that looked a whole lot more natural than a custom tab. So they look a whole lot better. So with the new tabs fully installed, I'm gonna have to restitch the elephant print back to the shoes. Now that the elephant print is fully stitched on, I'm gonna restitch the tongue back together now. I'm not gonna reinstall the, the stretchy tabs that lock down your foot, cause I like the feeling of a free tongue just like an Air Jordan one. So on the retros, the tongue does sit a little bit higher, so I will adjust the tongue height to make it slightly lower to match how the originals were. So right now I'm preparing to stitch back the blue sock liner. That's why I have this blue thread on my bobbin thread. So it will be blue on the inside and white on the exterior. Now that everything has been fully stitched back, I'm gonna start to prep the midsoles and glue the midsoles back to the uppers. So I have to remove all of the old factory glue, shave down the midsoles, and clean it up with cotton balls and acetone. So the 1988 Jordan 3s have a much lower elephant print on the toe box so I'm gonna shave off a lot of the elephant print on the toe just so it'll fl it'll fit lower on the, the toe cap. This will also adjust the comfort of the shoes so the leather on top of your foot will sit tighter making it more uncomfortable so you're gonna have to do a lot more adjusting on the foam so your foot will sit lower so you don't feel that tightness around your, your toes. This is how much elephant print I'm going to be shaving off just to get that 1988 look since the new retros have a much higher elephant print height. Now that everything has been shaved, I'm going to start applying my adhesive on the uppers and the midsole so I can start bonding them together. I do have a technique. I start with the toe, toe box first because I do want to make that perfect. And then I work with the heel to align it as best as I could. And then finally I work on the sides of the, the uppers to make it look flush. I don't think I need to add the shrivel board because I believe it's only there to add structure when you're putting the uppers onto the midsole. But since I'm 
gluing the midsole to the uppers section by section I don't think it's necessary unless it adds another function um, please let me know because I'm always willing to learn something new now that everything is glued down you can see how much lower the elephant print is and I did mention that I lowered the height of the tongue just to match the height of the originals back in 88 I'm using cotton balls and acetone to prep the midsoles for a repaint and then I'll spray it with Bulldog Adhesion Promoter just to strengthen the repaint and just to give it a little bit more strength um, so the paint will be less likely to crack while you wear them. Every time I use an airbrush, I strain my paint first just so it doesn't get clogged. And I'm putting a nice off-white paint as my base coat and then I'll start applying the blue color afterwards. Yo, shout out to Who Fresh for this technique where he recommended to use electrical tape for those straight lines on your midsole since it will leave the straightest lines and it's very flexible so it can go around the heel heel uh, much more easier whenever you're airbrushing you want two light coats at first and then you can go heavier on your third coat until you're satisfied with your results Check out how straight those lines are just from the electrical tape. Shout out to you, baby boy. Considering that these are from 2001, the elephant print did fade, so I'm going to bring back the color and just make it a little bit more darker like the True 88s that I'm trying to replicate. Now the last step I have to do is just restitch the toe cap and they are done. All right, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe already. All right, you guys, take care. God bless. Yay!